Hello Play The Games, it's Boobity2 here and welcome back to Play The Game Central and today I'm going to be talking about a map theory idea which I have had and it's kind of got like two main things which it is sourced from and the first one was uh, Ben's zombie blood um, idea which um, he posted a few days ago and I watched that a few days before he actually posted it and he told me about it. Um, beforehand, and also I also was starting to think about the poster in Mob of the Dead with the uh, big castle in the background. So, with those two things in mind, castles and blood. Now from that, the thing that my mind kind of goes to is Dracula in some kind of way, because vampires, Transylvania castles, etc, etc. So, I got into my head a idea of Dracula's castle uh, kind of style map thing. It doesn't even have to be Dracula's actual castle, it can just not be Dracula, it can just be a vampire's or supposed vampire's castle. But, you know, with Mob of the Dead they did do something which is, you know, fairly similar along those lines, and that is a um, kind of prestigious place with Alcatraz, and if you think Dracula you're going to think of the castle and all different kinds of things. I mean, if you think about what Mob of the Dead was and then just get into the idea of trying to merge that into something like a Dracula's Castle kind of scenario. Um, but anyway, Dracula's Castle, or just Vampire's Castle, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's a map idea which I had. So, with Mob of the Dead we did have a very unique system with uh, powering things and perks and all that different kind of stuff with the afterlife system. And Maybe if, you know, the blood perks idea which Ben has won't be implemented into the entire game, like, completely, maybe it'll be introduced, perhaps, in one single map, just like Mob of the Dead did with the afterlife system. And so, the blood perks idea, if you haven't heard um, Ben's blood perks idea, then go over to that video and then watch that. Um, but basically what it is is that there are, like, grates on the floor which you have to kill zombies by, and then it will essentially power perk machines. And there's more to it than just that, so if you go and watch the video, which I'll probably link in the description so you can go watch that, or it'll be in the suggestions to the side. Um, but that's an idea which would fit this very well. And then I kind of got to more thinking about vampires and that kind of stuff, and so instead of uh, the dog rounds and monkeys or... Uh, the pentagon thief or whatever. What about giant bats which fly at you and they're very fast They're very difficult to shoot, but they don't do terribly much damage. They're kind of like a denizen But faster and he doesn't stick to your head or maybe he does stick to your head Maybe it's like a denizen boss where he gets onto you Then you have to make it get off of you when it's sucking the blood out of you and it kills you pretty fast or something like that and you have to get if you're in like a team of people, then they can obviously shoot them off you, and so that's very, very good. Um, but giant bats and things flying around, trying to disrupt you and take things away from you. They could even like steal your gun or do all different kinds of things. Maybe they've got multi purposes. They can latch onto you and then start sucking your blood, and then you kind of need someone else to help you, uh, you know, get them off you, or uh, they can temporarily take a perk away from you, or they make you just go prone, just randomly, make you lose your weapon, all different kinds of things that they could do. Um, but the original idea that I had for those was basically just to be uh, reskin dogs, which can fly, but you can do a lot with that. Um, that would happen every, like, five rounds or so. And then another idea with, uh, you know, staying with the whole Dracula and vampire theme, um, in vampire uh, theory, history, whatever you want to call it, speculation. It's not really speculation because vampires don't exist, but um, in, in the mythology, let's say, of vampires, they can't see their reflection. And so I was kind of trying to think of some way of implementing a kind of Hall of Mirrors style thing, in that maybe what we can have is there's zombies, and they will be charging at you and attacking you, and then you're in this Hall of Mirrors and you can see all the zombies, like, charging around in all different locations you're not actually sure exactly where they are because obviously in the hall of mirrors you see them fucking everywhere and you don't know where the actual ones are um and then there's often there's often and occasionally a half zombie half vampire zombie uh which comes along um just like it's just like one of the um guys which are in die rise like just a specialized zombie like one in ten there's just like a armored guy um, as in, in Die Rides, it's like an armoured guy, but for this, there'd be like a half vampire, half zombie guy. And obviously, you only see him uh, through the actual place which he's coming from, and you won't see it from the mirrors, and that might disorientate you a little bit. It's a very small thing, not particularly significant, but neither was the armoured zombie thing. 
Um, although I did very much like that. I do like that idea of having just a wide kind of variety of standard zombies, but with special tiny traits, um, which is good. Um, so there's one idea. Maybe that doesn't work at all, the Hall, Hall of Mirrors kind of thing, but that's just a work-in-progress idea of mind, brain, sexual fantasy of mine. Um, yeah, no. But anyway... Moving on to the next thing, which is vampire zombies. Um, and maybe, you know, these are the zombies which I was talking about in the Hall of Mirrors idea, or they're a specialised zombie which come every now and then. Like, um, there's like one or two every round, like some kind of mini soul that, or something like that, I have no idea. Um, but just a vampire zombie, but you can't kill them with bullets, you have to stab them with melee to kill them. Or maybe there's a special item on the wall, which is like a stake, which you can take, and that replaces your melee weapon. And then it kills the vampire permanently. Um, whereas, like, shooting it and knifing it will only stop him and slow him down, and that's it. You won't like, be able to kill him unless you get the stake and stab him. And that could be just like, um, like with the Hall of Mirrors idea. Just a zombie which comes every now and then, um, just occasionally, or... Uh, something... Well, actually, no, because if it was in the Hall of Mirrors and you had to get a certain weapon to actually kill it, that'd be kind of gay. So let's not think about that. Let's think of it more as, like, a specialised um, thing which comes every f every few rounds or so, like, one a round or something like that. Um, after, like, round ten or something, and then you have access to the stake. Or maybe there's just, like, stakes along the ground and they're, like, one-use things where you have to pick up a stake, stab one of the vampire guys, and then it breaks and you can't use it again. These are just ideas, you know, if you... You know, just you play around them in your own heads. I'm just like trying to plant some seeds as well as um, present to you my ideas. And you know, you can do whatever you want. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to spread some knowledge, which is something which I'm really poor at because I'm a fucking idiot. I really am. Do you ever just happen to just be doing stuff and then you're just like, but, but uh, uh, oh, 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 yeah, you're a fucking idiot. I call myself a fucking idiot quite a lot of times. That's irrelevant to everything. Anyway. The new perk, the new perk which would be implemented into this map would be something which is uh, Red Bull, essentially. It gives you wings. Let's just call it that. If you can play around with that kind of name, Red Bull, or you can make it an energy drink of any kind of thing. But with Red Bull, the tagline for that is Red Bull gives you wings. And so I was thinking maybe that is a perk which you can have, which basically you will just fly up and uh, across as if you've got like some kind of jetpack but it only lasts for like one second and basically it's you so you can just jump over a bunch of zombies and obviously it's not going to be able to be used again and again it's something which replenishes gradually and um you know it might just be like a rejoice time of like 30 seconds or a minute or five minutes or something um i don't know how much it would cost probably like three thousand points because it can get you out of quite a few situations because if you are getting swarmed by zombies, then you can just immediately just launch yourself out, and then you're completely clear of the zombies. It's like when the giant's foot comes down, um, the zombies just, like, fall over. Um, that's kind of, like, the idea. Or, like, a thunder gun, which doesn't kill them, it just, like, knocks them down or something like that. Um, and it's only a temporary thing. It only will last for one second the entire effect. And there's no guarantee that you will land in complete safety. There might be, like, three or four zombies just crowding around you, then they will rape the shit out of you. Um... But that's an idea as well um, for the extra perk. And one last thing, which Rowan actually kind of... Um, yeah, yeah, Rowan definitely suggested this idea. And it was in the director's chat when I mentioned this. And he came with the idea that you are playing as vampires. And you are, like, turning into a vampire. Or you are just proper vampires or whatever. And the idea with that is that you need a certain amount of blood to in his idea, stay alive. Um, but I kind of thought that was a little bit too much. His original idea was that you are a vampire and if you don't kill zombies fast enough or often enough there's a long break between killing zombies, then you will lose health. But that's kind of like going back into transit kind of territory. Like if you were to walk into a crack of fire and then a zombie melees you, then you instantly go down or something like that. That would just be really annoying. Um... So I kind of like tried to nerf that a little bit and make it just so that your vision uh, fades a little bit. And maybe your vision gets desaturated so it goes more black and white in the entire map. Which would be kind of cool if you would just um, go into theatre mode with the black and white effect and just look around. It would be like um, in uh, Mob of the Dead when you do the Easter egg, you get that black and white scene which would be really cool. 
Um, but really, uh, the vision would fade. At some points, your vision would just kind of just get blurry and blurrier. Like if you've ever played uh, Fallout, like Fallout 3 or New Vegas. Um, if you do get a crippled head, which is, sounds ridiculous to say if you haven't played Fallout. If your head is crippled, then you kind of like get a weird blurring effect and your ears start ringing. Um, so that's what I was kind of thinking around that. And it also makes it so that you kind of don't really want to leave a crawler at the end of a round um, that kind of stop people from making a crawler, running around, do all different kinds of things and etc. Um, that would really mess you up a little bit, so uh, it might be... I say, it, I say it might change in the future. This isn't official at all, it's just ideas. It's just It might change in my brain in the future as to what's better. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any ideas for this Dracula's Castle map, then do let me know in the comment section, or if you'd like to change some of these. Um, things around it to something which you think would be better, then go ahead uh, in the comment section. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like. Please, go ahead and leave a like. Like the video with the button with the thumbs up-y thing, that's great. That would be absolutely fantastic of you if you would do that, and subscribe if not subscribed already. And I will see you next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.